everybody, what's up? How's it going? My name is Sean. Thanks for being here. Here we go, guys. Wanted to have a quick conversation with you. Well, it's more like a monologue, okay? It's a, it's a rant. I'm gonna call this a rant because it's a rant more than anything. I wanted to share with you my long-standing singular issue with New Balance. I love New Balance, but I have this thing that I constantly deal with. And if you're a New Balance collector, if you're a New Balance enthusiast, you might have experienced this. You might be experiencing this, right? And if you're not quite there in terms of being New Balance crazy, you own a pair or two, you know, and uh, you don't quite know what I'm about to share with you, then let this video serve as a warning, okay? So let's do it. First things first, if you hear the low hum of the air conditioning, pardon me, I'm not gonna turn it off, it's just crazy hot. So guys, this video was supposed to be, was supposed to be an unboxing video. This package arrived today and uh, what do you do with packages when they get to your door? When you get a box, you unbox that thing and you make a video, right? But um, as I was setting up, I just decided to, uh, you know, take a slightly different direction and talk to you about my problem with New Balance sizing, okay? And it has a lot to do with this new pair that had just arrived. This is the New Balance Levi's collab sneaker. I had, I had dropped a video um, how long ago was that? A week or two ago. We unboxed that sneaker. We did a review of the sneaker. I did my on feet. But um, that was a size 10. And it looked and felt funny to me. That, that size, it was chunky. It looked a little longer than it should. Right? It fit me well. You know, it, 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 the, the shoe would have worked. But it felt funny. And I was frustrated because I wanted to look snappy. You know, it, it's a 13,000 peso sneaker and uh, I, I want it via raffle. And uh, you know, not a, not a cheap sneaker. It was not easy to acquire, but then Commonwealth, uh, just uh, s several days after they released the, uh, the raffle winners, they had posted the sneaker online for general purchase. So they didn't sell out. They had a few pairs left. And uh, I was quick to buy the same sneaker half size down, right? So uh, that's, the, uh, that's the genesis of this episode. So the long and short of it is that not just because you have a 1300 in a size 10, like in my case, I have a black and mesh 1300 in a size 10. It fits me well, looks perfect. Love the look, looks snappy. That's in a size 10. It doesn't mean that your next 1300 should also be a size 10. It doesn't always follow. It doesn't work that way because sometimes, like in the case of the New Balance Levi's collab, you'll have to go half a size down, right? It depends on the materials. So the black and mesh pair is a 10. That just fits me perfectly. But this New Balance Levi's pair is a denim and hairy suede finish. The 10 just look big, right? So, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's also the case 990 line. Uh, I can name the V3, V4, and V5. I'm a size 10 in those three models, okay? But with the V2s, I'm in nine and a half. I have to go half a size down because they're just long. Not because they're a 990 line, you know? The V2s, V3s, V4s, and V5s, they're completely different sneakers. They're they same DNA, but they have different finishes, so. Um, I guess the lesson here is that if you have the opportunity to try on the sneaker before purchasing, do it. What I just gave you there actually is a, uh, it, it's a general advice, you know, it can be the situation with any sneaker, with any brand, but with New Balance it just, it just seems that the size difference between, for example, 9.5 to 10, it's just more pronounced. And I know it, I feel it, I see it, and uh, that, that, that's the issue, I guess, you know. Um, and, and the inconsistency, the inconsistency. I, I'm a 10 on most 1300s, but some releases, I'm a 9.5. The 997s are crazy, too. Uh, I'm a 10 with most of my 997s, but some, some of my size 10 997s, because 997s, made in USA pairs, made in England pairs, are not easy to come by in the country, and uh, so you have to buy them online. So it's hit or miss, it, it's a guessing game. But uh, 10 is my size, so I order mostly size 10. I have a few 997s that look a little too big. They work, but uh, you know, f f for my preference and for my taste, they're a little too big, and I wanted it, I want it to look a little more snappy, and I wish I could have gotten it in a nine and a half, okay? so. 
on to the unboxing. This is a Levi's 1300, as I said, from Commonwealth. If you're interested in a pair, good news. Well, I, I don't know the situation now, but uh, you can check the Commonwealth website. There you go, the orange box. The unmistakable Levi's orange box. Uh, we're not gonna review the sneaker. I have a full review of this pair. I'm just gonna put that as a thumbnail at the end of the video. The box is in great condition. That's a nine and a half. This is gonna look awesome. There you go. Alrighty, baby. This looks proper. This looks proper. All right. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Now I'm checking for denim stains. None here. Uh, just a little bit over here, but that's easy work. Okay, good. I'm happy. There you have it, my friends. Man, it feels good to have two pairs of a coveted New Balance. But here in the country, it seems that they're not so rare. You know, I've seen a few pairs up for sale on some New Balance forums on uh, on Facebook. And as I mentioned, they're still available on Commonwealth. Uh, well, ch check the website. They might still have this pair in your size, okay? And before we go, I'd like to remind everyone of this thing called COVID-19, in case you haven't heard. Kidding aside, the virus is still out there. We've become complacent, we've become relaxed, and it's super dangerous. Now is the time more than ever to be careful, okay? It's still out there. You guys be safe. I'll see you next time.